Please be back. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Lavu, and let us speak. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. Levul's ancestor assured me that her source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind and only speak when the fruit grows certain. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Archcanon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you. But who am I to question my god? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the... phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help. So I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's... Offend me? You give yourself too much credit. No, I feel the same about all Outlanders. This is tribunal business, best handled by tribunal resources. Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. Ah, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone. Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals.
project has been nothing but one disaster after another. Our Blessing Stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our Blessing Stone? Lord Vivek? Why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs... Go tell the Overseer what you did for me. Please, Vivek. The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. of Lord Vivex's distress. Interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something at least in the larger sense. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment. But the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. Yes. While well, Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the tribunal.
I performed that ritual countless times, and it never exploded in my face before. If I discover that you sabotage the divination, how do you know about... Lord Vivek told you? Of course he did. It is his prerogative, I suppose. It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. It confirmed three locations from my earlier studies. Bon, haven't you left yet? The site of... Are you waiting, looking to get out of here? I can't believe you look like the traveling sort. In your excursions, have you perchance come upon a young dark elf named Vale? That's a shame. Her father, Eris, the house counselor here in Balmora, promises that anyone who can find his daughter and return her safely to his side will be well rewarded. You should speak to Counselor Eris. Counselor Eris can be found at the Redoran Kin House, and do hurry. He's ever so troubled by our failure to locate young Vale. I have no issue with Counselor Eris seeking help. It's where he's decided to get that help that concerns me. I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carolo. At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. I'm sure you do, but I have to live here, you know? Look, there's nothing I can tell you. If the houses ever found out I told an outlander about our troubles, I like the color of your gold, outlander. Just between us, I heard the house guard shut down the Shulk Ore Mine.
Yes? Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? My daughter has been gone too long, and the house guard can't seem to find a wall in the corner. But why should I trust you with this task? An interesting insight. Perhaps you can find my daughter. They have fled after a family disagreement. Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my daughter. Now, Outlander, if you need some sort of assistance, go find one of the house guard. You must be one of the freelancers the Council employed to supplement the duties of the house guard. I've known the Relith family since I was a child. Vea is like a sister to me, and I'll do everything in my power to get her home safe and sound. Perhaps, as long as you don't get too close. They've been running notes of late. And when you find Vea's friends, remember to keep your distance. Letter to Drivis. It's important. Just don't let House Renarin get their hands on it. If you think you're being followed, find a place to hide. Good luck. Stay away from me. I'm warning you. From me, I'm warning you. You won't get this note. I saw you head across the bridge toward Vea's friends. So, Drevis? That laggard? I never understood what Vea saw in him.
this should help us determine what happened to Vea's brother. Hmm. Hello, can I help you? Wait a moment. You're one of those hirelings House Redoran pays to harass us simple folk. Vea wants nothing to do with the house or her father. Why can't any of you respect that? Well, if you must know, it concerns Vea's brother. He was an officer in the house guard before he vanished without a trace. A local tough goes by the name of Ashur. He delivers the letters. We usually meet him outside of town to the northeast. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find Ashur. He's been passing our notes on to Vea. Just look. Killed one of my gang, Swit. No writ will protect you from us. Feeling left out? I'm sure I can procure a writ for each of you. That's it. Kill the Morag Tong and any witnesses. He on me. I had that situation under control. Just needed them to make the first hostile move. Still, I... you were, were you? Was it Melissa? I told her I'd close out my tab after I completed another contract. That Vea? The new apprentice? Now why in oblivion do you care about Vea? Are you now? And why do you want to do that? Uh, never mind, I don't really care. I was asked to pass along some notes, but I'm not really the messenger type. Make sure you don't anger Vea's mentor, or even look at her the wrong way. She's grown surprisingly protective of that young woman, and if she thinks you pose a danger... You know, the usual buyer's remorse. I see a lot of that in my line of work. Turns out, I had to kill a bad man who did bad things. The writ was legal and above board. Unfortunately... I'd rather not. She's particular about her secrets, and I... Oh, you make it sound so... obscene. Still... 